Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, AI the Great. And today, I'm coming at you with another great video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. My content is fragrances, fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Now let's get started. Hey guys. So welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I'm doing a requested video from a subby to talk about some of my Holy Grail designer fragrances. I did a Holy Grail video a couple of weeks ago or maybe like a month ago about six Holy Grail fragrances, but they happen to be all niche fragrances. So one of my subbies was like, sis, you ain't got no Holy Grail designer fragrances. Everything that's a Holy Grail is a niche. She didn't really say it like that, but that's just how I interpret it in my head. But I just wanted you guys to know that there are some designer fragrances that are holy grail worthy. Designer fragrances get a lot of flack sometimes because people look at them as now basic or just too regular or just not complex enough. But for me, I wear what I love. I own niche fragrances that are absolutely amazing, holy grail, different, compliment getting, wow factor, pow, boom, you know, all that type of stuff, all of those things. And I have some designer fragrances that do the same as well. And I'm not one that's gonna bash designer fragrances after I've started to wear niche fragrances because there's a place for everything in my wardrobe. I've said this before and I'm gonna say it in this video again. You have to have a collection that is well-rounded. You can't have a whole wardrobe, and we're talking about clothes right now. We can't have a whole clothing wardrobe of evening gowns because you're not gonna wear the evening gown to get your car washed. You're not gonna wear the evening gown to the supermarket. You're not gonna wear the evening gown to the post office. So you need items in your wardrobe that you can wear to Walmart and Target and just be casual and do your errands and run around. Sweatsuits, leggings, t-shirts, sneakers, flip-flops, like all that. You're not gonna have a whole wardrobe of stilettos or a whole wardrobe of one thing. You need variety to have a well-rounded collection. So designer fragrances in my collection is a definite must. And I also have designer fragrances that I can wear dressed up if I wanted to wear them dressed up. They're not all just casual running errands. Some of them are date night worthy. Some of them are vacation worthy. So we're not going to just totally bash the designer fragrances, not on this channel anyway, because we can appreciate all the fragrances. So if you're interested in seeing what my Holy Grail designer fragrances are, please continue to watch. Guys, if you like my headband, check out the link in my Amazon store below. I have a plethora. <laughs> an abundance a surplus amount of headbands down there for you guys to check out so if you like headbands if you love headbands or obsessed with headbands like i am check them out guys you will not be disappointed but guys before we get started if you're not yet subscribed please consider subscribing to my channel if you do subscribe make sure that the red button turns gray leave me a thumbs up so i know that you love my content tap the notification bell so youtube will alert you of my postings because you guys don't want to miss my videos and also leave me a comment down below so we can get to know each other I respond to all of my comments guys maybe not right away sometimes sometimes right away sometimes not but you're always gonna get a response from me guys so now let's get started with the video first holy grail designer fragrance is Mon Guerlain and guys I'm so excited because this is my backup bottle I'm now on my backup bottle of this fragrance and i thought i would never get here but guys this is a beautiful fragrance the downside of the fragrance is that on my skin it doesn't have the best performance but the scent is everything you would want in a classy sexy feminine elegant type of fragrance let me tell you the notes there's bergamot mandarin orange there's pear there's neroli jasmine sandback lavender iris vanilla and sandalwood it's a very classy fragrance very sophisticated but still playful, still fun, still can be sexy. Definitely a fragrance that I will always have in my fragrance collection. Mon Guerlain, Holy Grail. Next up, we have this sweet, woody, and powdery fragrance by Tiffany, Tiffany Intense. Guys, all of the fragrances from Tiffany smell good, but for me, the Intense is definitely where it's at. The Intense for me is my holy grail. I never wanna be without this fragrance. It's a sexy fragrance. It's a date night fragrance. It can be a signature scent type of fragrance. If you're familiar with MFK's Oud Satin Mood, that fragrance layers beautifully with this fragrance right here. Now, I'm not into fragrance layering. However, I do have the cream to Oud Satin Mood and I do have the oil to Oud Satin Mood. This smells like a very feminine, very sweet, very girly version of that to me. The notes are probably completely different. 
However, it still smells similar to me. So I do layer that oil and the body cream with this fragrance just to punch it up a little bit, you know, give it a little bit more oomph. But this fragrance, it's not like it needs it because it's a beautiful scent. Compliment getting. Every time I wear this fragrance, I get compliments on it. They loves it. It's one of those fragrances that's mass appealing. You can wear this fragrance around anyone and it smells good. I can't see someone not liking it. But at the same time, it doesn't smell generic. It doesn't smell basic in my opinion. Or at least on me. I don't have the body chemistry that's going to turn it into a basic smelling scent. So Tiffany Intense, a beautiful, beautiful fragrance, guys. Definitely my holy grail designer. Now guys, if you know me, you know it's not a holy grail video if I don't have a fragrance by none other than guess who? <laughs> Narciso Rodriguez. Guys, this is one of my holy grail designers, period, in fragrances. I absolutely love Narciso Rodriguez. No one does musk like Narciso Rodriguez. I say it all the time and I will continue to say it. He is the musk king for me. I love musk in his fragrances, especially for designer fragrance. They smell amazing. So this is none other than for her. It was created by the GOAT, Francis Kirk John. So you know this fragrance is about the business, right? <laughs> so let me tell you the notes. There's rose, there's peach, there's musk, there's orange blossom, osmanthus, vetiver, amber, and vanilla. It's a sexy fragrance, definitely a compliment getting fragrance. I never, ever, ever, wear this fragrance without getting a compliment. Guys, I kid you not. People love this fragrance, especially men. They're smelling this fragrance through mask. This is a beautiful scent. I absolutely love this. I never wanna be without this fragrance in my collection for her by Narciso Rodriguez. Definitely one of my holy grails. Next up, we have this intoxicating, intriguing, sensual, sexy fragrance right here. Hypnotic Poison by Dior. Hypnotic Poison is definitely a fragrance that needs to be in everyone's fragrance collection. It's just, it is what it is. <sighs> Listen, if you love almonds and vanilla, it's just a beautiful, nutty fragrance. Mm. So there's bitter almond, samic, jasmine, and vanilla. There's also coconut. There's a bunch of notes in this fragrance, guys. But, you know, we're not going to go over all those notes today. But just know that this fragrance right here is a beautiful scent. It's a sexy scent. It can be a date night scent. Now, if you want to extend the longevity of this fragrance, then you should layer with either an almond cream or a vanilla cream. But if you have friends like from Abby with Love, then you will be layering with the Hypnotic Poison Body Lotion. Yes, guys, my beautiful friend insists here on YouTube from Abby with Love who has the best heart, the best spirit. She's just the best, like all, just all around. She's just that dope. Guys, she sent me all the way from the UK. She sent me this Hypnotic Poison Body Lotion because she knows that I love Hypnotic Poison and I've been trying to find this body cream. They no longer sell it here in the States. Let me tell you something, guys. This came in like less than a week but not, not even less than a week, in less than five days. Like she sent me the tracking number and I wanna say like two or three days later, this was at the post office. If you can get the Hypnotic Poison Body Cream, definitely get it to layer with this fragrance, guys, because this will last you for like eight hours. Overspray this, it's a sexy date night fragrance. It's a home date night fragrance as well. If you're all cuddled up in the house and you wanna get sexy with Bay, this is the fragrance that you're gonna pull for as well. Hypnotic Poison by Dior. Next up, we have the most exotic take on a rose fragrance ever. Like seriously, ever, whether it's designer or niche. Tom Ford's Rose Prick. This fragrance could stand up against any niche fragrance, guys. When you talk about different rose scent, exotic rose scent, let me tell you the notes. It opens up with Szechuan pepper, then there's turmeric, then there's May rose, Turkish rose, Bulgarian rose, rose bomb. Like seriously, rose bomb. Three types of rose. Then there's patchouli and tonka bean. It's warm, it's spicy, it dries down creamy. I'm so glad I have this fragrance, guys. And look what I got. So now I have the purse spray. So the purse spray is available. I got the purse spray. So this doesn't have the best performance, okay? It's not the worst, but it's not the best. You definitely have to overspray. You definitely have to layer. I layer with my Jo Malone Rose Body Cream. But once I leave the house for the night, I'm taking this with me. This way I can get to spray and retouch my fragrance throughout the evening, throughout the night, wherever I go. Definitely necessary. Rose Prick, holy grail. 
Next up, another Tom Ford fragrance, Lost Cherry. Guys, this is your sexy, sensual, sweet, almondy cherry fragrance with cherry liqueur. The only downside again is that it does not have great longevity. On me, if I just do regular sprays and not layer, I'm only getting about three to four hours. But pushing it, I'm getting five to six hours, possibly even seven. Spray this all over your clothes, you layer, you stack it. It's an amazing scent. So it's an oriental gourmand. There's cherry, cherry liqueur, bitter almond, there's cherry syrup, there's Turkish rose, there's jasmine sandback, Peru balsam, there's roasted tonka beans, sandalwood, vetiver, and cedarwood. Guys, this is a beautiful, sexy, date night fragrance for me i absolutely love this fragrance i just wish the performance was better but it smells so good it's so good it's so intoxicatingly good whenever i wear this fragrance i can't help but to smell myself i just want to smell myself the entire time definitely a beautiful sexy intoxicating holy grail fragrance guys next we have by bottega veneta illusion <laughs> I'm not sure how to pronounce this guys i don't know if it's illusione or illusion whatever it is it's a beautiful fragrance and it's in my holy grail for designer fragrances this has a beautiful note of fig this has tonka bean let me tell you the notes there's bergamot there's black currant there's orange blossom there's green fig olive wood and tonka bean guys let me tell you something this does not smell like a typical designer fragrance this fragrance is amazing it's beautiful it's fresh it's sweet, it has depth from the tonka bean. It's so pretty guys. It's a pretty fragrance that can be worn all year round. I can see a man wearing this as well. It can be unisex. I keep telling you about this fragrance. If you ever see it in Macy's or Bloomingdale's or wherever you shop, try to get your nose on this guys. It's a beautiful scent. Bottega Veneta Illusion. Last but not least, we have Twilly de Hermes. Guys, this fragrance here has two of my absolute favorite notes in a fragrance ginger and tuberose and combined together they are just amazing they're magical this fragrance has no performance issues this fragrance has the best performance out of every fragrance that we spoke about here today now i do layer with i have the hermes body cream and body wash but I, I layer with it because i just love the scent so i just want to intensify my fragrance but guys you can do regular sprays of this if you wanted to you can over spray if you want to this is another compliment getting scent people love this fragrance on me guys you can wear this to work you can wear this on a sexy date night to me this is sexy i have worn this on a date night before and it depends on what type of date you're going on if you're going on a date where it's the evening time and you're maybe going it's a little casual you know it's not that super sexy dressed up type of date you could absolutely wear this fragrance your partner is going to love this this is a feminine fragrance to me in my opinion i do know of men here on youtube that talk about twilly d or men that actually wear this fragrance so if you're a man and you want to pull it off you can because of the ginger the tuberose let me tell you some more of the notes there's ginger there's bitter orange there's bergamot tuberose there's orange blossom there's jasmine sandalwood and vanilla but basically it's a sandalwood ginger and tuberose fragrance definitely twilly gang definitely holy grail guys so that's it guys seven of my favorite designer fragrances that are my holy grail i never want to be without them they're amazing fragrances i will stand behind them and i will ride with those fragrances until the wheels fall off so leave it in the comments below and let me know what are some of your holy grail designer fragrances guys let's talk about it like we always do remember to stay safe be great stay great and always strive for greatness ai the great signing out but i'll see you in my next video peace